Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can deposit a USDC stablecoin or USDC coin to our coins.ph account from our MetaMask non-custodial wallet using the Binance Smart Chain Network, okay? Now, in the later part of the video, I'm also going to provide more information about uh, coins.ph uh, e-wallet, okay? Now, we have here a total balance of 0 pesos, okay, meaning we haven't got any uh, cryptocurrency balance on our coins.ph account as of the recording of this video. Now, I was recording this video last uh, Wednesday, uh, June 21, 2023 at 1.20 p.m. Manila time. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to navigate on our coins.ph uh, cryptocurrency app where we can find the USDC coin, okay? Uh, looking at the price action of a uh, USDC stablecoin, during the uh, recording of this video, 1 USDC is equal to uh, 55.58 uh, pesos, okay, on the coins.ph mobile app. Now, what I did is to also compare the price action of uh, coins.ph with uh, CoinGecko website, and uh, they're pretty much the same, around uh, 55.5 uh, Philippine peso which means that the price action showing between the coins.ph website, uh, crypto page, and the uh, uh, CoinGecko website are aligned, okay? Okay, so if we're going to go back to the homepage of our coins.ph uh, crypto, we'll just need to click on the uh, transfer button on the top right, okay? Once we click on transfer, on the lower part of the page, uh, we will be presented options to cash in, uh, cash out, uh, deposit crypto and send crypto, okay? So since we're wanting to deposit a uh, USDC to our coins.ph from MetaMask uh, BSC or Binance Smart Chain, we'll need to click on the deposit crypto option. Now on the next page, uh, we will have the receive uh, crypto list, okay? So we're simply looking for USDC stablecoin. Now on the next page, after we select a uh, USDC stablecoin, we'll just need to select the network, okay? For the purpose of this tutorial, we need to make sure that we select a BNB Smart Chain. Since we're going to deposit a USDC stablecoin to our coins.ph, coming from the USDC assets of our uh, MetaMask uh, Binance Smart Chain network, okay? So we're going to select the BNB Smart Chain or BSC, okay? And on the next page, uh, we will have the option to copy, okay, our USDC uh, coins.ph uh, wallet address for Binance Smart Chain or BSC, okay? What I'm doing right now is to log into my MetaMask non-custodial wallet, okay? Now, on our MetaMask uh, Binance Smart Chain network, uh, we have here an existing uh, balance of 1.4061 USDC uh, equal to $1.41 as of the recording of this video, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is to uh, try if we can uh, send 0 0.10 USDC from MetaMask uh, BSC to our coins.ph uh, USDC uh, account, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is to click on the USDC coin. Okay, on our MetaMask, we'll need to click on send. Uh, we're going to paste our USDC wallet address from uh, coins.ph uh, USDC uh, Binance Smart Chain Network, okay? And we can see here that we have uh, a green check, meaning that the address is valid, okay? Okay, once we click on next, we'll just need to input our desired amount to be transferred or to be sent from our uh, MetaMask to coins.ph, okay? So I'm sending a 0 0.10 USDC from uh, MetaMask uh, Binance Smart Chain going to our coins.ph uh, USDC Binance Smart Chain. Okay, uh, please note that the estimated gas fee is only uh, 0 0.30016 BNB for this specific transaction. Okay, so we'll compute that later. Send. Okay, and uh, the transaction is uh, being submitted, waiting for confirmation. And if you'll notice here, our existing balance of 1.41 USDC is down to 1.31 uh, USDC, okay? And if we're going to check on the transaction history on our MetaMask wallet, we have a footprint that we're able to send uh, 0 0.1 USDC from 
uh, MetaMask BSC going to our coins.ph uh, USDC BSC wallet address, okay? Now, what I'm doing on this part is to calculate the network fee or transaction fee, okay? So, for, for that transaction, we only spent a 0 0.30016 BNB, which is only equal to 2.23 Philippine Peso, okay? So, that's very cheap. So, what I'm doing right now is to uh, toggle between my MetaMask uh, wallet and Coins.ph to check if we're able to receive uh, 0 0.10 USDC from MetaMask BSC to our Coins.ph USDC BSC. And you'll notice here, we're able to successfully receive uh, 0 0.10 uh, USDC from MetaMask to our uh, Coins.ph account, okay? From 0 pesos, we now have a 5.55 uh, Philippine peso equal to 0 0.10 USDC, okay? If we're also going to check on the a cryptocurrency list and look for USDC. Okay, so we'll click on view all prices so that we can uh, click on the USDC stable coin. Okay. So when I click on the USDC coin, we can see here we have our USDC and if we're going to click on the sell option, we now have an available balance of 0 0.1 uh, USDC. Okay, or around the 5.5 Philippine peso. Now with this uh, tutorial, uh, we can conclude that we can really uh, send uh, X amount of USDC from uh, Binance Smart Chain MetaMask going to our uh, Coins.ph account, USDC Binance Smart Chain wallet address, okay? So, transaction is complete and successful. Now, for additional information about uh, Coins.ph, okay, Coins.ph is the number one crypto wallet that allows users to buy digital assets, okay? It's trusted by millions of users worldwide. So about Coins.ph, uh, Coins.ph is an all-in-one wallet where we can uh, buy, load, uh, pay our bills, okay? Send remittances and also buy and sell cryptocurrencies, okay? We can also hold our cryptocurrencies on Coins.ph depending on our preference, okay? So Coins.ph is the Philippines' number one crypto wallet that allows users to buy Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum, ETH, and more, okay? Trusted by millions of users in the Philippines, you can enjoy easy access to crypto spot trading pairs from fiat crypto or crypto to crypto. Sign up for an account, get verified, and get started on your crypto journey with coins.ph. Okay? Now, for educational purposes, guys, uh, one of the most uh, key advantage when we're using the coins.ph is that uh, coins.ph is compliant and regulated, okay, by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas BSP or Central Bank of the Philippines, okay? Coins.ph is regulated by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP and we're the first ever cryptocurrency company in Asia to hold both virtual currency and electronic money issue licenses from a central bank, okay? So for more information, uh, you can feel free to uh, visit the coins.ph website and the information readily available when we download our coins.ph e-wallet, okay? Disclaimer statement for our Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel. All the information on our website is published in good faith and for general information purpose only. Any action that you take upon the information you find on our website, Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel is strictly at your own risk. So more fruitful gains everyone, I'll see you again on our next vlog. Bye for now.